That's a cool t-shirt. I like that shirt. Um, okay. We got to get some stance. We got to get some stance because that would make it much easier on our um, our backs and our necks. But uh, we do Fixing take donations via Bitcoin, Ethereum, your favorite cr- cryptocurrencies. Fix our back. Visit us at <laughs> phosphorspodcast at gmail.com to find out more. Yeah, guys, we want to fix our posture and our backs. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So it is July 6th. Yeah. What July is it? 6th. Is it July 6th? And episode 8. Hey, hold on. We have to clear that first. It's very confusing, right? So we just moved from one platform to another, and now we are on a third platform too. Right. So we started with the pod miners. We had some episodes there. We had three episodes there. But we weren't called Phosphorus then. We were called. Yeah, uh, we weren't Phosphorus then. We were like X. Colon X. XX, yeah. which sounds and looks really, really yeah, blade, bad for business. B- blade Runner, Blade Runner style. Very yeah. cryptic, very cool. And then we moved on to Library, which is still our basically main platform at the moment. Where it's our, where most of our content is. Yeah. Yeah. That's where yeah. our full episodes are at the moment. And it's called the Phosphorus Podcast too. So. We first publish it there, and then this last week, the last episode, which was episode seven, right? The community. That's right. Yeah, we published right. it in YouTube. So for any kind of confusion, we will kind of put the previous episodes on YouTube too. We will definitely upload it, but for sure, we will have to come up with some material as we didn't record videos for the previous podcast. So true. you might true. see it in a highlight form. And if you would like to listen to any of these episodes, uh, you can go to library. And we will leave a link for that too. But at the same time, hey, uh, we have to say this. Thank you, guys. You know, it's been a week in YouTube and we already have 108 views. You know, it's good. It's good that some people are listening. So thanks for that. I think it's 108. 108 now, right? That's yeah, a lot. Yeah. But still, triple digits. I'm, I'm yeah, about like that. that's beautiful. And we have to also mention that this is a side project, guys, right? So right. we are moving towards becoming a better platform. We are looking for ways to become a little bit more professional and get comfortable in this field. For sure. Right? So For sure. And I think long story short there is that whether you're joining us on YouTube, there's something on the other platforms for you too that you may find interesting because like you said we started on pod miners went over to uh we'll link to that too in our description yeah. uh went over to library put most of our content on library and then yeah here we are on youtube uh as well so uh right. we are in episode eight but i think we should stop numbering them yeah so in that case what i'd like to name this one is so far we've we've uh carried on a, a very, very short-lived tradition of giving our episodes themes or names, right. single single name or single word names. But um, I think we should keep doing that. So in light, in, in faith of that, I would, uh, or faith in that, I should say, I should say that our episode this week will be called Adoption. Adoption, who are we adopting? Well, who's adopting? <laughs> who Who's adopting who? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What's going on? Uh, so... I mean, it, you're hearing like a, a lot of supporting voices uh, in governments, like around mostly contained to Latin America, right? Yeah. So you've got El Salvador, you've got uh, Paraguay, Brazil, Mexico, Panama, and and that's not not to say they've taken it on legal tender as legal tender as El Salvador has, but they have had supporting words for it and, right. and been open minded to the idea uh, and taken steps to find out more. So Smart. Vietnam, though as well so it's not just latin america or south america at the moment yeah it, i read it, those news too the vietnam is looking for a kind of like a preview into what's what will happen if they allow the cryptocurrency so they are looking yeah. for a way of introduction right 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 and and wanting to find putting the feelers out there and and figuring out what's what right yeah but i thought there's a quote from from not vietnam but in southeast asia from the philippines the president of the uh, or the ceo i should say of yeah. the philippine stock exchange and he came out and he said um he wanted the cryptocurrency exchange to be on and hosted by the philippine stock exchange yeah. and he said the philippine stock exchange should do it and and this is um his quote if there should be any exchange for cryptos, it should be done at the PSC. Why? Uh, number one, it's because we have the infrastructure, but more importantly, we'll be able to have investor uh, protection safeguards, especially with a product like crypto. And one word stuck out to me there, and it was infrastructure. Uh, that's it, that sentence, rather, I should <laughs> say we, we, have, we have the infrastructure. So, so they're what? talking about, yes, we'll adopt it. And people, 
I'm not sure that everybody's okay. really backing the right horse here. If everybody's saying mass adoption, like we have to be prepared to be met with, with you know, complete and utter disagreements with governments. Yeah. And, and places where you'll be like, okay, well, this government's not going to sign up to Bitcoin. You can't use Bitcoin. Will they outlaw Bitcoin? If you hold Bitcoin, you know, you have to leave your wallet at home. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just curious to see what that would look like. I mean, it's going to become one of these things. Remember, like some countries accept uh, food coming from like imported or sorry, exported from another country, you know. Oh, no. Yeah. Imported from another country. And they'll be saying, okay, oh, sorry, we don't accept GMOs. Right. And then the others are saying, it's okay, we accept it. Is it going to become something like that? What is the infrastructure? What, what does it mean that uh, their infrastructure is ready? For well, they, they can, yeah, they can, they can, I don't know. He didn't say. Yeah. He, that's all he said. <laughs> I mean, that's all good. Like, you know, but the people are in the dark, man. Like in everything. One side is yelling no. The other side is yelling yes. And all the other fish in the sea, they are saying yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. But a lot of people, a lot of people, I'd say like those sides are definitely not even sides. I think there's a lot of people that are like mass adoption. A lot of people want their investment to do absurdly well in a short period of time. So to some people saying, yeah, mass adoption, mass adoption, this is the way, this is the way. I I get excited about that too. But at the same time, I also left, I'm also left thinking after that is kind of a, a hangover of sorts where you're like, wait a second, do we really want mass adoption? Why not? Well, look at what's going to have to happen for it to become mass adopted. We're going to have to have those disagreements. We're going to have to fold in such centralized entities that existed and thrived on their centralized system, Amazon and Facebook and, and Alphabet and all of these massive corporations that have that have thrived. Their whole business model is is lying. The weight of it is lying on this one pillar or yeah. multiple pillars, but this one pillar is called, you know, um, centralization. And so uh, how are they going to fold into a decentralized space? They have to adapt. That's what they're good. That's what we are good at. We are good at making ketchup from tomatoes. Squash so you, you think that Facebook will literally come in and say, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll decentralize everything. We'll give all your data back. We won't sell it. No, they lose their entire business model. They become a hobby. It's not, it's not going to happen. Well, even if he gives you back your data, your data is already gone. Whoever wants to have it. They no, but let's say it. he said, we'll stop collecting it. We'll stop collecting it. But the, the thing is, look, that wouldn't happen. Is Why point. they have to say we will stop it? The thing is, if you already know that these guys are selling your data, mm -hmm. and I even tried, you tried to delete your Facebook account, you can't delete it forever. It's still there. Oh, let's see, maybe you want to come back towards the yeah, end. Yeah, the, of the internet year. never forgets. But you that know? just doesn't go for YouTube. I mean, that goes look, for many websites. So the the point here is this: that whole uh, industry. Let's say, like the whole point is this: you know, this guy is selling your data and you are still using Facebook. Why you are still waiting for Mr. Zuckerberg to come out and say, hey guys, sorry, I've been stealing your data. Now I'm coming to tell you in your faces and I'm not gonna do this anymore. And then you still wanna be on his platform. What's, what's the whole profit of being on Facebook? What's the whole sellout point of this? And they bought Instagram also. So, you know, all your pictures, all your, all your conversations, stuff are being tracked even though it's encrypted and cannot be touched. There, there are like ways to go through it and we right. are still believing on the words of one guy who already been found out to have sold those information. So your argument is that it's not gonna happen even it, if they say it's happening? Even if it's gonna happen or not, the thing is if you are aware of this, might as well get out of Facebook and Instagram if you can at the same time. Otherwise, you are willingly giving away your information and then Mark Zuckerberg cannot so be then, at the so then Facebook, anymore. Facebook is just gonna take this lying down. They're just going to say, no, as long forget as people, it. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother. Facebook will die out eventually. I mean, as long as the majority keeps on following what others are doing, all you need to do is start another trend, start another Facebook campaign, or maybe another video promotion campaign, do something and bring these people again, bro. Like 70% of the world almost is in front of a camera dancing for TikTok. Like you should actually put an NSFW tag on a TikTok video to be safe to view when you're in your workplace. Because nowadays, I'm telling you, I wanted to talk about this for a long time, the Instagram and TikTok sure. and even the YouTube shorts has just turned into a softcore porn material. It's like, which I'm saying, there's equality, it's your body, do whatever you want with it. Go on, do it, I don't care. But the thing is, I don't understand the point of dancing 
in front of a camera making videos of it. It's a way to make money. Yes, that's very yeah, good. Money. Yeah, but nowadays, like even I saw it on, I think, Ga Gaming Bible's uh, website, and this is also happening on Twitch too. Some of the streamers are getting banned for showing too much skin per se. You know, I don't want to tag everybody doing something like that, but whatever, it's their choice. But the point here is this, before this thing was not allowed, and you already burn a lot of people for doing less than this, for showing a little bit of cleavage, maybe saying some really sensitive word, you ban these people, and now all of a sudden, like literally all, everywhere is just half naked girls dancing, smiling, following a trend, other guys doing some silly things, jumping off the buildings, do exploding fucking pools, I don't know, you know. So these people are gonna wait for Mark Zuckerberg to come out and say, hey guys, I've been sharing your data. Like, fuck it, we don't care, we already knew it, let's go. And this is the thing. Well, they're, they're still paying them too. I mean, you can I mean, make money on those too. channels. Sure, they make and money because it's easy to watch because now the American gladiators that was on the TV to distract people from watching out what's really happening and mm -hmm. spending this time, now it's full entertainment. And the full entertainment is now coming with the softcore porn too. So it will get another addicting part to it, you know? So you are adding more to this advertisement business by allowing a little bit foul play, if you say, you know. I'm not talking about cleavages or anything, man. So, you are free to go and, and show that. So I that's going to gonna exist that. in, don't you think that the blockchain would be somewhere where that could just thrive? Absolutely. Because if you can find out, if you find out now that you're not going to get a check from Facebook or a deposit from Facebook every month, mm. but you're going to get a certain number of tokens. And the more people that adopt into this system and, and ecosystem will make those tokens okay. value grow. Okay, how, how are they going to do that? So there are like millions of fake but they profiles. Can, like, bro, like there are there's... projects out there that pay you how many, you know, we, uh, we're on library. We earn per, uh, per watch. We get a small, small, okay. small percent. So tell me, what is the difference between Facebook and Reddit, per se? Tell me. Yeah, so you are using Facebook for what exactly? Either to follow news at the moment. Personally? Not, yeah, personally, if yeah. you are using it, yeah. Like for me, I'm just using it to contact my family because my family still uses Facebook and nothing else. It's good, but I used to post pictures and write something, oh, so silly me, you know, those are the days. And now you're looking at it, what, what do you do on Facebook? Other than sharing videos to each other, laughing at some old memories, yeah. you know, instead fucking socialize with your friends and do something else. So the Facebook already lost its purpose as a tool. Now that's why they've been aligning towards the business side of it, where you promote your business. So now every second thing, every third post that you see is another okay, ad, so. another promotion. So good, look, in that business, if you are still on Facebook and let's say Facebook starts giving out these crypto payments, for everybody who is getting certain likes, who has so certain videos, you know, kind of like the YouTube material style. And then you wait for it and then you look at all these fake profiles coming out, fake likes, you know, these are already, uh, this is already a business. You can buy likes, you can buy subscribers, you can buy fake profiles and do whatever you want with them, you know. So this is happening, so where is the fairness in that? And at the same time, even if Facebook was giving away free money, I don't fucking want it. I don't want anything from this evil organization, man. So Keep it. You already have my information. So what happens if you don't want if you don't want them on the blockchain? Do you want them on the blockchain? It's not up to me. The thing is this, it's not up to me, neither up to you, neither up to the people, because this is an open market, as I keep saying. And we talked about this in previous episodes too. Mm -hmm. Is it too much freedom? Is is it like this freedom is a, a bit much for people to control? Yeah. That's why I mentioned all these TikTokers, YouTubers going crazy, and it's not even their fault, like the people who are doing. They are following a trend, in, in a way they are adding to the problem, but for their own life, maybe they want to do it, they have to do it, go ahead and do it. But the rest of the population are just getting dumbed down, just watching videos like this. You know, you can't even put somebody to sit down and watch a video more than maybe 15 minutes without skimming because life is fast, everything is quick now. Mm -hmm. You want the highlight. Hey bro, I don't wanna to listen to this in between that and that. Just come to the point, let me hear the point. And if I'm interested in that, then I will go back and listen to your joke and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, before we were told and brought up to be people who should be socially happy with other people, have conversations with people, go visit people, have a tea, have a coffee, I don't know, whatever you wanna drink, go party with them, you know. So now, 
It's okay, like, but there's going to be some kind of social. There are social. I mean, there's social on blockchain apps. Look, already. I mean, like, if if that's how, how do you want to socialize? Do you want to get so sexually socialized? You go to Tinder or OnlyFans. You want to get socially, uh, politically, and maybe intelligently have different kind of topics. Go to Reddit and fight with these people in the forums. Yeah, good. <laughs> and then if you want to make some <laughs> short videos and stuff, go to Instagram and follow people and refollow people, etc. Do your business there. Okay. Not TikTok. I mean, TikTok, okay, too, good. Like I'm saying, I give it as an example, but I have nothing against it because it's not up to me. People making their money, they want to dance to something, go ahead, dance. You want to show some skin, go show some skin. I don't care. I, I hope everybody does it. Good, make your money. But the thing is behind the scenes, this is what's happening. Like, you know, now let's say a kid opens the phone so, and the but, first but thing the, they're the gonna thing see- with, with blockchain is that there's, there's less behind the scenes financially, financially and in terms of informationally. I mean, yeah, look, word, but they will still find a way, bro. Like, even if you say that you can follow it, track it, the people who've been corrupting this system will also find another way to corrupt it. Anyway, because as long as you have a goal and you have this objective in mind, right. you will always find a way to do it. That's what I'm saying. It's kind okay. of like you are reaching for something and you are waiting for it to come towards you. You are attracting it towards you. So this is the whole mentality. So eyes on Facebook. Eyes on Facebook, fuck Facebook, man. I don't care. That. Like for me, good for them, man. Good for them. They made a good business. The Mark is a very smart person playing. Yeah. So my with question people. is, do you think they'll just say that? Hey, you know what? We've made our money. Fuck it. Peace out. And Mark Zuckerberg just accepts that. You know, if Web 3.0 comes along, which the blockchain is a big, big part of, and therefore cryptocurrency is a huge part of, if that comes along. Facebook has to do some serious things. These centralized entities, when faced with that, you know, freedom on the horizon saying, hey, you know, you can do anything you want with your data. You can sell your data. You can store your data. You can pool your data. You can, you can do anything you want with it. And it's transparent. If people were to go for that and people were to, you know, walk blindly to it, let's say, because people will do what other people do, yeah. as you say. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I can't see how Facebook would just be like, okay, we're out. No, Facebook never gonna be out. Of no, course, people are gonna, gonna stay out. on it. Like they, they have. My point is, they have to do something to uh, he been compete. He been pulled to the court, to the U.S. court. All the senators, all the people, they asked him questions. They pushed him to the corner about yeah. privacy issues and stuff. At the end of the day, he's still out there. He's still doing this. Maybe right. he's uh, guilty. Maybe he's not. But at the point, like the main point here is not even that. It's not people. It's their tools that they're using. And the people are using these tools, giving the power to one person. Like in my youth, I always wondered about this issue. How can somebody start a cult? Like, how does this happen? You know, some people call Bitcoin a cult. I mean, Anything can be a cult. And to be fair, this might be a conversation that a cult leader would give to his followers. Uh, for sure. I for mean, you can cult, <laughs> make, you can turn okay. anything into a cult speech. You know what I mean? We, yeah, I know. We mean. don't accept, I mean. guys, we don't accept it is, anybody. It, it, okay? To an extent, you're right. It, it's Even if you want to send your application, like we don't want to accept it to our cult. Anyway. Like, God damn it. <laughs> but <laughs> you know? okay, so how do, you, how do you have these entities that have thrived on centralization come in? How do you, how do you have it happen? Educate the people. Educate the people, okay. like give some bread to people. Hey guys, maybe it's time to learn a little bit. Maybe it's time to not watch highlights anymore and go watch the whole uh, information. Right. You know, we were talking about the other day. You, if you're watching videos still, there are people who are making good videos. This dude made the history of uh, psychology. All right, I forgot his name. We will mention it in the probably in the comments or something. It's very cool. So he made this whole information available and you keep on listening to certain topics and you will get a little bit enlightened to maybe get a motivation to go learn about these things. You cannot learn things from YouTube, but YouTube can be a motivational position in your life instead of just watching like, I don't know, highlights, games, sports, news, politics, talk shows or like comedians, whatever, you know, all of them serves a purpose, by the way, they all like tick a little box in your personality right. and your daily kind of adrenaline and dopamine game, you watch it, but you know, slowly educate yourself. And if you do that, then we don't even have to have this conversation. If Zuckerberg, uh, Mark Zuckerberg does this, if Elon Musk does that, if Charles Haskinson does that, or if the CZ Binance says this, 
You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you keep on following this, oh, look, Kim Kardashian said that, Paris Hilton did that. By the way, she's the CEO of the <laughs> OGN. But, you know, even then, I'm not dissing these people. Whether you like it or not, it's up to you. You can like a person for whatever the fuck you want. And mm -hmm. that's your probably personal right, right? So I can't say anything on that. But the thing I'm saying is, if we are already speculating on the speculated topic, we are already losing the point because we are speculating over people then these people are speculating about something is already a speculation and we are like, oh yeah, because this is the beginning of drama, it's perfect. There is no like 100% direction. No doubt it's exciting. Yeah. You know, it's exciting. No doubt. In, There's no doubt at all. You're in the loss. Oh, you're like, wow. But if you stop and have a little bit of a clear state of mind, like sit back for a day with no phone, with no videos, with no TV, with nothing, no alarm, nothing. You sit the fuck down. I'm not telling you to go spiritualize yourself. Don't go too deep. Just look back and say, okay, what's happening in the world today? Where I'm at? What happened in the last 20 years, 30 years? What happened during my parents' time? What happened during their grandparents' time? What happened before that? And, and you, then you it, think the blockchain is this thing that's happening in your time? Bro, probably similar things to blockchain happened way, way, way before because blockchain is not just a system anymore. It's kind of like an idea, you know. It's a new way of doing something and showing people a different aspect. I think it'd be more like your grandkids would be like, yeah, my grandpa Johnny, he was around when the internet started. People would be like, whoa. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll Maybe make not that the, the sound of the modem connecting. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 you know? Like, wow. So cool. But the question is, if we track all this back, I always talk talk about this with you. you. You go back to the Middle Ages. My question is, what happened to these elite families? What happened to these people? Where did they go? Okay. No, like the duchesses, princes, but, but, princesses. Where did these people disappear to? Do you think they, they're the first ones to, to Bitcoin? Do you think they've, you know, those people, do you, you reckon like the big I guy think, at Facebook, like Mark Zuckerberg dude, has Bitcoin? Like of course These These people, they have so much money. Right. Like so much money. That, That's what I mean. They're just a little bit that, here. Yeah, they're the like, side. oh my God, here you go. I have like 50 million here, 100 million here. Yeah, ooh, yeah. let's see if it's going to turn into something. And yeah. the thing is, it's their money. They can do whatever the fuck they want. Wow, he, can, he can turn around and sell it to right. Facebook at a premium for, I don't know, financial services or something. Yeah, because they, they are right. taking their time and learning that is what I'm saying. So the only reason the people always look up to other people is the people they look up to, they do the work. Even right. though they have the connections and networks or whatever you want to think about. Sure. Like, let's say even the K-pop stars, people talk shit about K-pop stars. But in order to do those dances, those moves, those little like chick and hip looks, you know what I mean? They are practicing and they are giving most of their day and time of their life to this. It's dedication. So you cannot fault or blame anybody's dedication. Even at this point, that even if you don't like Elon Musk, you have to give it to his dedication. He's doing something, but Every at show. the same time, yeah. at the same time, baby fucking Dodge, what the fuck? And right. if people, <laughs> like, look, it's on the fucking coin Gecko's top fucking 20 search tokens, and people still are fucking going after this shit. So the thing is, oh, less I though, lost. Less, less though, less. Less, because maybe they already lost most of their money. But still, that yeah, is there's, less. There's, there's, there's some. And then we are looking, yeah. and I'm feeling, man, okay. some people just give in to their neutral evil side. Let so, it be. So the other, the other entity that I wanted to ask you about, let's circle back to adopting an uh, adoption. Uh, with the other the other entity I want to talk about was this was governments who are not on board or regulators that are not on board at the moment and are at an opposing uh, side yeah. of the table and saying you know this is used for criminal elements illicit elements yeah. or illicit means and criminal means and stuff but then <laughs> yeah. you they would have to do a complete reversal they would have to turn around and say okay yeah we'll we'll will adopt Bitcoin or at least yeah. be part of the quorum or the the, the the governing body that votes it in. Maybe not the majority, but still part of it. And I don't see that happening. Of course. Of course, it's not going to happen. It's, it's going to take some time for sure. You know, at the same time, we are still dealing with this COVID thing. Vaccinations, vaccine passports, when people are going to be allowed to travel when life is going to become a little bit normal, you know, and we are dealing with that. 
masks or no masks. At the same time, the government's coming at it slowly. One day they say yes. You think so? Yeah, everyone, bro. Like the the government banks, they are getting ready. Most of them are rejecting the crypto payments because they probably are looking for a yes go from the government to say, sure. hey, we found a way to tax this shit and this is how we are going to do it. Now allow these people because right. they are building the infrastructure for sure to get onto this as soon as possible. You have to stop the leak. You, right. know, the, you know this meme that this guy has this magic <laughs> magic wrap? He the just tape. smacks oh, yeah, the tape. Yeah. yeah, I remember the one. Yeah, so it's kind of like that. Yeah, let's fix this leak. Here you go, smack that. Bam, Nothing done. wrong. Nothing wrong, keep moving, man. So the idea for me is this, I wanna mention this real quick. Have you ever read this, I don't know how you call it, maybe it's like a little story. It's called The Magician's Sheep. No. It's from G.I. Gurdjieff. Go. Cool. All right. So in this story, I'm not going to go for more. So there is a wizard, okay? And this wizard, he wants to eat the sheep every day, one, and then skin them and use their skin and flesh, all right? And he's he doesn't want to hire a shepherd because shepherd is work, shepherd is money, and he's like, all right, I have to come up with something. I don't want to build fences and shit because all this time the sheep are running away from him, getting away to the jungle, falling down in the forest, off the cliff and shit. Right. You know, and he's like, oh my god, this these sheep are dying. What should I do? Then he found a way. He's like, all right, look, I'm gonna go one by one. I'm gonna go hypnotize these guys, and I'm gonna keep on telling them one thing to another. And he goes to one and tells them, hey, guys, I don't mean any harm to you. Listen, you're immortal. I can't even harm you anyway. I'm not after your skin or anything. Come on, you just stay here and chill. Live your life nicely. I take care of you. Good. Moves to the second one and he gives this love speech. I love my flock. I take care of all of you. I'm not this evil guy that you're talking about. Goes to the third one and tell these group. And then he's like, look, you're all lions. You're eagles. You are bigger things than you are. All right. And then boom, these sheep never leave his farm, even though the others before them keeps on getting skinned and killed for their flesh, food and everything, you know. And this is the same idea. This is basically what's happening to us. Enter, okay. the, enter the government establishment system and then become a product, get out as a product, be used, your shelf life is finished, here you go to recycling, recycling, we pay you a little bit of the retirement money, shut the fuck up, sit down, oh shit, you're dead, I'm sorry, let's move on to the next product, all right, this is like number whatever. So this is what we are talking about, man, like I am there. So if the governments are saying something and doing the other thing, that's mm. hypocrisy and that's not trustable thing too. You know, if you are saying something, which I understand because this is politics, right? Right. In politics, you have to play it like this. So, all right, but we were just reading about this guy. What's his name? Brad, Brad Sherman. Yeah. Go on, tell me about that. Brad Sherman, uh, the Congress, Congresswoman, Congressman um, from California, Representative of California, sorry. And he, uh, he basically said it was a form of gambling. And he said, right. you know, you're going to, I don't have his exact quote, but yeah, I don't have his exact quote, but I think he said I think, something yeah. like he, 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 he said it was uh, akin to gambling. And then he said, he also said that uh, even if one person wants to retire well with a million dollars, it means 900 uh, nine, nine other people have to each lose at nine hundred thousand dollars uh, collectively, and so I think, yeah, he was he, he was saying the same old thing. And I watched the clip. Um, you know, he said things like people wouldn't be able to retire with dignity. He says he says some pretty harsh words, but then, you know, you, you brought to the attention that article came out just recently that he said uh, that he had actually he takes money from central banks. Um, you know. But ten grand from each of them, sometimes more. Well, look, I can't talk about Not this all because, of them, but, because but that's some his of them. that's his problem. All right, I don't even want to be sued or anything because of this. So but that's to be his, fair, it did sound like problem. he was reading from a script. Like yeah. when when he was he's I watched some of his other videos and he hasn't been. He was never. He was he was much more impassionate in other videos. Like when he's talking about finance and he's talking about um, when uh, he taxes and and he's talking about other financial things in government. It yeah. didn't really seem like he was trying to uh, convince him. He's almost trying to convince himself because he didn't really seem like he was into it. Anyway. Look, whenever um, whenever you want to sell your product, you speak a little bit louder. Well, no, that's confidence. a good example. Though. That's a good example because basically he would have to turn around and say, I was wrong on cryptocurrency. Or not necessarily say that, but he would have to be part of the governing body that uh, the majority votes that yeah. it was wrong. 
and he'd have to be part of that party and and to convince people to an extent it's like you say it's not even on some people's radar you know they're yeah. they're not but then again some people's radar you'd think that it should be on or it wouldn't be on sorry like wyoming yeah. comes out from dead last and takes control and says yeah yeah crypto's cool mm-hmm. um so i think that that the idea that it could go or it could get worse before it gets better should should be you know it, it's in the back of my mind yeah like it's going to get to the point where you know at some point it's regulation could hit or whatever adoption could hit this so-called adoption could hit and things could get really bad uh but it, it could momentarily get better and then get really really bad afterwards it, who knows you know and we're learning every yeah. day like we said before it's exciting but my instincts tell me something about this all right yeah seeing how it's going it kind of feels like this not financial advice it has the vibe that the government is getting ready to lock the doors right after probably the next high, which should be hopefully sometime from now until the next year, you know, another big high where these companies who invested in it already, because the companies and institutions, they can always get away with something. The government always let them go in some way or right. the other because they have like a big leverage, right? right? So it's good, fair play, you do it to them. But I have a feeling that we're gonna have to hit that all time high again, and then let all these people who already invested in it make some money, and right after that, these guys are gonna bust in because they're already at the door, and they're gonna keep on making some excuses. They're gonna say, oh, look, this is Teddy. Teddy invested $1,000 that he stole from his mom. (laughs) <laughs> and then he made it into five hundred thousand dollars. A kid from is like down Mexico, That's and now Teddy, terrifying. the half breed, he's going to come and kill you all because okay. he had this mind. Like I don't know, some crazy stupid I understand, shit. Like I racially, racially abused, dramatized, a broken family. You know, mm. and they can like move this to anywhere they want. You can change the name, you can change the race, you can change the wording, whatever. And then you turn it into a story of a bad story. It's a bad impact. Like, I don't know if we mentioned this or not. Remember the Satanist always wearing this black shirts and the long, long haired people are always treated like Satanist in its time. Mm-hmm. And this was all also a little bit government led, not government. I wouldn't say media led, whoever was leading the media at that After time. After Columbine, you mean? You know, so you kind of bring this information and the issue to the people's faces like here you go guys have a look at this and then you keep on giving them examples look these guys are killing and burning cats oh it was a big <laughs> yeah, thing I, in I turkey remember that. you know what i mean and at that time if you were wearing black and you have long hair you'll be a satanist so nowadays after those examples in my life i stopped listening to it man i don't care whatever they say my cat i'll just follow my gut time. feeling you know yeah i i mean i mean i get what you're saying and and uh Definitely, there the are red people herring that, media. Uh, there are people out there that definitely think uh, that Bitcoin is in that league. Yeah, you know. Uh, but so, let me phrase it a, a different way then, because I'm 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 trying to get to. I guess the the bigger question is if mass adoption happens. Yeah. Like some one of the towers fall. Let's say. Let's say it happens like that. Argument's sake, just a hypothetical. I'm curious. Hmm. What worries you? What worries me is, one, and the most important thing is this, people don't understand decentralization. If we mass adopt before people understand what actually decentralization means, how this correlates with the blockchain technology and the crypto as the tool to use through blockchain, you know, until people understand these core ideas. Mass adoption is going to be like the fiasco we've been having for this last two months. Up, down, crash, up, down, crash, 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 more. Twitter goes crazy, you know, Twitter goes crazy. Yeah. Oh my God, go yeah. sell it. So somebody comes, one sailor comes out and says, oh, hey guys, okay, now I think from my charts, it's going to be 5K in two weeks. Yeah. Go and sell your stuff. People sell their shit, they come back. Oh, you remember that thing so, we read so about? So if mass adoption happens, what happens if it gets too volatile? You don't think like companies will be like, okay, I'm out. Hey, take lead, remember that? No. We, we read it from we we read it from Reddit. <laughs> it was that thing about the guy. I don't know his name. D Y O G something oh, like yeah, that. I remember that. A guy made this kind of 
detective stuff and verified it by himself. I will give the <laughs> I will give the kudos to him. Like you know, he did it, Respect. and he he found out that this famous YouTuber slash millionaire called Tech Lead or Tech Lead. All right, he has his YouTube account probably. I don't know about it, but he says that he's kind of promoting his new token and then he's tr trying to do a pump and dump, etc. For anybody who wants to go find out about this, they can go find it because I don't want to put this on tech lead because I didn't read too much into it to say like, yeah, but it's interesting. So one thing in that uh, Reddit post, uh, take a lot of information, like take a lot of attention from me, I'm sorry. It was this, we don't need the regulation. And if we don't need the outside force, basically the federal hand to come and help us regulate this, we need to be a little bit more responsible as a community to call out issues like this where we can. Mm -hmm. Instead of like, you know, when you are watching people's wallets and you see how they are moving to make money off mm -hmm. it, instead use that information, you know, use the information again in a more efficient way somebody will make more of this information than you think they would. Mm. And you pass it to them and they're like, holy shit, look at this movement. This much of money exiting this wallet and going to the same other wallet. Every time this post happens, every time this guy makes a video, this is going here and there, whatever. Mm. You know, just follow that. And if the community starts helping each other mm -hmm. instead of trying to get better than each other, you know, I promise you, there are like people out there that are thinking like, oh, you have 100 ADA? Mm -hmm. Fuck, I only have 20. Mm -hmm. I wish I so so that's what worries you most, know. irresponsible people or unknowledge people. Yeah. But this is just like a very hopeful dream, man. I don't think people will ever be fully educated. I yeah, I don't, I don't think people will ever be fully eyes wide open to this material because I kind of come to an understanding that this is a little bit of a personal individual push a person needs to do for itself or for him or herself, you know? And some people are willingly just closing their eyes to some realities out there. Same like how you don't want to try a new type of food from another country. Say, no, 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 not even try it. Like, nope, nope, nope. So stay in your bubble. Yeah, when you, when you come to this nope, 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 nope area, I heard so much nope, 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 that I'm kind of, okay, I will not go that way anymore. Like some people don't want to be awakened from their deep. Sleep. Yeah, they're not going to come on board no matter what. I mean, look, that's a choice also because of this. If your idea of a family is to just provide for your family, live under the conditions provided by the government, play it safe, and then live off like that and make a new generation and continue doing that, fair play because it's your goddamn right. You wanna do it? Yes. But the other people, if they choose to, they should be having their own option to do a second one. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, the second part is, if you decentralize yourself, if you become a country that is not recognized by all the other countries, let's say everybody that has a different set of mind, they start forming little communes around the world. Then how are you going to don't recognize that? traditional yeah. borders and, and like then that. the next day you're going to wake up to drones just fucking shooting massive communes. So that's one you know? way it could go. Yeah, I mean, I suppose. Uh, so okay, if it does go that way or any other way, what's the tipping point? Before we, because because we're running out of time, and I want to make sure we give this yeah. one enough. What's the tipping point to? What do you think is the tipping point to um, to mass adoption? And do you think it's going to be a flood, a trickle? Glacier, who knows? One of the big boys has to come out and say, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, one one big dog country, not, not in a bad way, like a big boy, big girl, bossy, dominant country, come out and say, all right, you know what? We are doing it. We are adopting it. And then you will see it's like these domino pieces. Okay. They're going to all start falling and singing the same tune. And they're going to say, okay, because... I believe they are waiting for how they are going to regulate it. If they if they are to do it, how they are going to regulate it, how the banks have to adopt their own infrastructure to be able to control this information, etc. A new institution has to be built from the government. For to sure, there's that. a lot of work to you be know, done, definitely. They, and they are doing that now. If they ever had time to do something else, these are the times to do it. And well, I guess you could say that we're seeing the signals for that, for sure. I think when you open the dialogue, In some you ways. know, the first dialogue started from the government side when they start attacking it. 
that was the time you understood that's the beginning of the dialogue happening here because they reacted to it. Acknowledgement. Acknowledged it, exactly. So they showed acknowledgement by calling it a fad, calling this and that for years. And now it's getting to the point that they cannot hold it anymore. And they are keep on saying, oh, ransomware, oh my God, the terrorist, you know, what's going to happen next? Are they going to bomb another country and say, hold on, anybody who holds this type of coin is a terrorist because one terrorist used it for ransomware. All of you are terrorists. You know, what is the end to it? But the thing is, they're going to keep on doing it. But we have to find a way how to move through this regulation, how to move along from this regulation. And the answer here is decentralization go to a dex go to a decentralized exchange keep your money in your hot wallet etc not hot wallet sorry cold wallet keep it safe i read it today from an, another reddit post where this guy is talking about his experiences i think 2019 or 2017 okay. and he's talking about no key no coin mm -hmm. so if you buy these things from the exchange and if something happens to an exchange and the exchange goes down, maybe in a couple of years you might get it back. But if you don't know the exact seed uh, phrasing of that token or the asset that you're having, they'll be gone. So people should also look for a way to keep their money away from the system. In that way, unless you put your bid into the ta onto the table, they can't see you. Mm -hmm. They know there's some money somewhere, but they don't know where. Mm -hmm. The only time you're going to get caught is when you're trying to go and exchange it. You know, hey, where did you find this gold? This gold is from the Italian government. Yeah. It's like, oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, boom, boom. Tsh, thank you. And like how they did it back in 2018. Remember, we were talking about this. The feds uh, seized around 500 bitcoins and they just sold it, I think, like either this year or sometime. Do you think, do you think a, a massive financial story related to either inflation or you know some some kind of financial crisis it could be covid but i don't see how that would move people to invest everything into bitcoin some people okay a little bit and there are articles that that touch on that idea but i think that if you're going to put everything into bitcoin mm. or or into cryptocurrency what do you think do you think like another glo global financial crisis would do it yeah. Well, and people be like, that's it. I'm out of here. We some gave people you one, already gave you smell one blood. Some people already smell blood. And they're yeah, saying, I, that's what some it, people argue, right? Yeah, the inflation is coming. It's coming again. And one of the biggest factors for that also is the US government looking to provide that how much two point something trillion treasury update, the budget given to Biden to improve and improve the infrastructure of the country, you know. That's also going to be interesting because they have to print that money. And yeah. until the people yeah. understand that we just keep on printing money out of no value and the dollar that you keep in your house is keep on losing the worth of it. You know, like very funny thing. While I was showering, I was thinking about some random thing, like how Turkey dropped six zeros over a day. Who? Turkey. I don't know. I don't know the exact year. Maybe like fifteen years ago. Maybe the lira. years ago. Yeah, we we dropped our six zeros in a day. Yeah, like we we set the day. The government set the day and saying like, okay, starting from this day on, we're gonna drop those six zeros and turn in all of your old banknotes and get the new banknotes. Right. Yeah, because it's kind of like a Lao money, you know, Lao Asian money. Yeah. And it's like so much, so many of it that it's not worth it anymore. Right. And it then dawned on me, this is what we were talking about. If people, if everybody becomes a millionaire, then they're gonna drop those six zeros too. Because True. since everybody has a it million can't already, happen to everybody. so we start from one again. It can't happen to everybody. So, so then you know, I'm looking for that and at the same time, just prepare and get ready. I mean, okay, but we could be, so it, we could be already along the way, basically. You could you could be saying that, um, that, well, I guess my question would be, the deeper question, the deepest question, hmm. When it comes to adoption and, and even regulation and manipulation, uh, is are we ready, or when will we we be ready? When will we we be ready yeah. to separate value or a financial system from the state? We'll get there eventually with the push. My worries are what's going to happen when the food resources are a little bit cut, because the population is increasing madly also all around the world. Okay, poverty is going on. The Global warming is happening. So it'll happen Gre slowly. Greta but is screaming somewhere, you took my job, 
you know <laughs> and then the world is in a mess already and then right. the new inflation gonna come with this covid thing on top of it everybody is already ready for a mental shift and i believe this is what i'm seeing i i see that the the whole ocean the waters are going crazy bubbling from underneath and i think we are in a kind of a shift a kind of like a half a century shift or maybe every couple of decades shift we are kind of in this moving to a something new, in the air we are moving into a new era okay slowly well, and don't know for all of us but probably we will see it clearly as soon as possible i think uh yeah i think when one thing that i'd leave you with is that um acknowledgement isn't adult acknowledgement a form of adoption already yeah. so we, you know we could very well be already there but um we'll yeah. leave it there yeah. and uh we'll catch you next week thanks for listening yeah keep listening guys thank you so much for your support and please leave a feedback i'm not gonna ask for yeah, a like and comments. subscribe but please leave some feedback guys that'll be very appreciated and thank you so much for listening phosphorus podcast peace out